three, two, one. Ooh, that sounded like it hurt. <laughs> Welcome to Technically Speaking. Today we're going to be looking at the WD Black P40. It's an external drive, comes covered in RGB for anyone that likes gaming. And on top of that, we're going to see how sturdy this is using the power of gravity. The P40 is available in three sizes, 500 gig, one terabyte, and two terabytes. And currently those are priced at no round numbers. My notes say the 500 gig is 109.99, the one terabyte is 162.99, and two terabytes is 252.99, because that penny makes all the difference. They do, however, come with a five year warranty, which tells me Western Digital are pretty confident about how sturdy these drives are. So the drive I have here is the 500 gig version and it comes in this classic WD black black packaging I can see what they did there I of course as a goth highly approve of this it's got some nice reflective spot varnish printing and a hint of what's inside with this beautiful RGB so if you're anything like me the fact you can light this up in RGB is probably gonna be up on your top list of things that you need it's one of the few things that can kind of differentiate things apart from each other now is how cool they look and also how small they are. This is absolutely tiny considering the amount of storage it's got on it. And it's in what looks like a very solid case, but we are gonna be testing that in a little bit. It also comes with its own USB-C cable for extra high speed transfers. So this one at 500 gig is the 1,950 megabytes per second read speed, but the one terabyte and two terabyte ones are up to 2,000 megabytes per second. So that's a lot of data. You can transfer many cat GIFs at great speed onto something like this and take them with you or, you know, more sensible things. So comparing the WD Black P40 to something normal, say a phone, you can see it's quite significantly smaller and is going to quite easily fit in your pocket. Uh, probably particularly useful if you're some kind of secret agent as well. So it's not that easy to see just by looking at it in this light, but underneath here you actually have two rows of fully programmable RGB lighting. And that works with a Windows app. It doesn't quite work on Mac yet, just on Windows for now. And that dashboard allows you to not only change the lighting, but also take care of the health of the drive, look at everything that's on it and manage that drive. But I mean, what I care about mostly is the fact that you can change these lights from rainbow to strobing to just full out red Sith. But don't worry, we will show you all of those options. So this is designed as portable storage so you can take your files or perhaps a bunch of games round to your friends or sneak them into the office when the boss isn't in and play them there. And being portable, it's in a very rugged, solid case and they say it can survive a drop of up to two meters. <laughs> That's something I definitely need to test out. But before we test that, let's check the most important thing. And take this over to a computer and check out how customizable that RGB really is. It's on USB-C and you have an adapter if you want to put it to USB-C to USB-C or into a regular USB port. Let me just plug it in, in the back there. Now, the first thing it's gonna do is connect, and then uh, you can take a look on the drive, and it has the control panel already loaded up on there for you. So you just double click that to set it up. Yes, please. While that's loading up, the RGB is already coming to life. It's alive. And then that will give us control in order to change that to whatever settings we would like. Starts off by default on this rainbow mode. And from here, come on, I can't wait this long for RGB. It's like three seconds. So <laughs> you have all of the like stuff that, you know, might be important if you actually care about the health of the drive, you've got the temperature of it, the life remaining on it, uh, its performance and everything else can be tracked in here as well as all of the tools and settings that you might want. But this here is the only button that I particularly care about. And it has a whole breadth of built in settings. So this one is called glowing, uh, glowing yo 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 or glowing yo yo, glowing yo yo. It is glowing yo yo. Oh, cause it's bouncy. It makes sense. It has a flash setting there. Very twinkly, very nice. A breathing rainbow which is an interesting name for a rainbow, uh, but it's gonna slowly go through that. Ah, I see because it fades and it comes back again. 
makes sense. Strobing for disco party nights. You can change the colours of a lot of these as well. So here we've got a wave going through. Comet rainbow. That one's nice. Classic rainbow. Starry night's pretty. I want to go pick one and make it red. There we go. Like if you're playing anything Star Wars-y, this will definitely give your allegiance away very clearly to anyone else you're gaming with. So yeah, you can change the color of these. Uh, anything that is possible on the color spectrum and it just immediately updates and it will remember that as well uh, for when you take it out somewhere else and you just need to reset it again if you decide to change your mind and perhaps you're bored of being a Jedi and you want to go back to being full Sith, like so. So it's about time that we put this drive through its paces. I'm going to make a shopping list of all the games I want to carry around with me and we're going to see how many we can fit on here. First off, I'm not going anywhere without Doom Eternal. I need that. You can basically be a killer unicorn taking over the entirety of hell. You need that, that's just an essential. Evil Genius 2, I've streamed that for Rebellion, so I think they'd have something to say if I didn't take it with me. Plus, like taking over the world. <laughs> See, Paparazzi is very funny, but it's only 488 meg, it's kind of not worth mentioning. I've just finished Stray and I need to immediately play it again because I've just got a new computer and can run it at a much higher resolution, so that needs to happen. Uh, another one I need to play is called uh, Neko Delivery. There we go. Flying Neko Delivery. You're a cat, you're a witch, you're flying around on a broomstick. It's absolutely adorable. That has been on my to playlist since I saw it at Gamescom. Uh, that is 500 meg. <laughs> Little Nightmares 2 if I fancy traumatising myself again. <laughs> Bioshock's been on my to playlist forever. That's going to have to come with me. I love the whole like steampunk aesthetic. That one is 20 gig. For the most realistic horses ever, you've got to go with a bit of Red Dead Redemption 2. That'll take up some of the hard drive space there. Code Veronica will always be my favourite, but Resident Evil Village is definitely worth a go. If nothing else, just for the meme ability of her, the very tall lady. Uncharted Collection, uh, still, still more of a Tomb Raider fan, but these are stunning as well. Taking it back to the original Xbox, but with slightly more polish, you've got Halo Infinite. More cats, this time in VR with kittens. I need to take that one with me. It's a good game. You're trying to make a spaceship run, but cats are all over it. But in VR, because of course. Then I'm gonna finish it off with some serious Sam VR, taking the best of old and new and chaos and bringing them together. So that's my shopping cart filled. I've got 1.6 gig left just to fill with some extra cat gifts and things to take with me. Let's see how quickly we can get those onto the drive. Now we need to test how solid this really is and does it live up to its claim of two meters as a potential drop distance. Let's see if this thing can beat gravity. Got a ladder, got a tape measure. Let's see how much this thing can survive. Let's start easy, 50 centimeters. Gonna go up the ladder even though that's not necessary because that makes it more fun. You ready? Three, two, one. Now I have to get down again without dying. <laughs> Plug this back in. Registers, still there. Okay, seems to be working. I think we should step this up a notch. Step one, survived. Stage two, let's double that to 100 centimeters. Okay, and let's see. Oh, plug it back in. Beeps there, files there. Okay, seems happy. Let's see if we can turn that up even further. 150 centimetres. This is getting serious now. Oh. <laughs> Never been paid to drop expensive things before. I'm quite enjoying this in a way I probably shouldn't. Right, okay. <laughs> that dented the cross. <laughs> Beep. Lights are still coming on. Rainbow. Files still seem to be there. Okay, well, they said two metres. Let's check it. Probably. This is hurting me, honestly. I'm throwing it on the floor, mate, if that's hurting you. <laughs> it's like every time it hits, it makes me flinch. Yeah. <laughs> 200 centimetres, okay. Everybody watching currently in fear for this poor device's life, or uh, mine because of my poor health and safety on the ladder. Okay, three, two, one. Ooh, that sounded like it hurt. <laughs>
Last time, is it still going to come to life? I mean, it sounds happy enough, instantly recognised, lights are still there. I mean, I'm pretty satisfied that that survived, and very impressed. Now, do we want to drop it even higher? No! <laughs> Let's not break it! I think you should, yeah, why not? Take it, push it so much. I think we've pretty conclusively proved that this can survive a two metre drop, so... How about we drop it from 2.5? Okay, right up to... Here. Full evil villain at this point, alright. Good luck, my friend. Three, two, one. Oh, nasty. <laughs> Moment of reckoning now. Let's see. Did we break it? No. <laughs> it still seems happy as ever. Recognised. Lit up. I don't feel quite so bad about doing it now. So the WD Black P40, it's small, it looks rather snazzy, you can light it up in your best Sith colours, make it look like you're in fact behind the wheel of Knight Rider, or, you know, go for those full rainbow colours if you're not quite as evil as me. It's capable of storing absolutely tons of games and files and doing so in a pretty portable, extremely lightweight way. It's perfect for being able to take all of your games around with you, just bear in mind that it's for anything that isn't your main games and you're going to want to run those off your internal storage. And on top of that, it's tough as nails, and uh, although we don't recommend yeeting it across the room, it'll probably survive. Thank you for watching, and if you get one of these, let us know how you design the RGB. Put some pictures on social media, you can find us at Jinx TV on everything, and we will see you for more tests next time. Bye!